Okay guys, so uh, you wouldn't believe the amount of time and effort it takes just to get this set up so I can play it in a semi-realistic state. I've got my G29, I've got my Cytec side panel, I have my keyboard, I have my mouse, so I also have an Xbox 360 controller which appears to be uh, running low on battery. That's not a good time for that to happen. Anyway, without all of these controllers in place, it's really difficult to get anything close to sort of fully realistic in this game and there's a number of reasons why you can see I have the side Cytex side panel here uh, and if I can figure the axes I've already done all this obviously but uh, you can see how awesome it is because the Cytex has this uh, blue and red switch button so you get twice the amount of axes on there that you would do ordinarily which is just fantastic having said that when I save it <coughs> it would appear that it doesn't actually retain it. Now this is where I have the biggest problem, is with the brakes, the clutch and the accelerator. So that's the accelerator, you can see that it's working properly, there's the brake. But when you're in the vehicle, it's reversed. So the brake becomes the accelerator and the accelerator becomes the brake. It's very, very irritating. The Ed Tracker Pro Wireless, uh, because there's no head tracking in this game at the moment, um, this is the only way you can sort of get that free look experience and it's not perfect it really isn't and it's not the air tracker that isn't perfect it's it's definitely cattle and crops they need to start addressing the controls and the options there ordinarily you'll find games like this have the head movement separate from anything else um, and this is the reason why because it has now disengaged my vertical look option so I need to uh, Just re-implement that by moving my head up and down as violently as I can until it registered, basically. Okay, so it takes a long time to get set up like that. But what we're going to do in, uh, in, uh, in, in this series, if you will, is just do some of the tutorials. Um, I very much don't know much about the game, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to trying it all out. I believe this is the new the new map and this is the the tech demo so maybe I ought to try this one and uh, we'll try and do one mission per episode or something along those lines okay so issue one is that the as I said before the the controls are bound to everything so up down left right is the same in the vehicle as it, uh, it as it is in the game now Every time it's moving around like that, it's because I'm moving my head, looking at a controller or whatnot, so it's a bit of a pain in the backside to get it where I want it. Once it's there, we're semi-okay. For some reason, I can't connect my, my 360 controller now. Uh, another issue with the game, uh, if your controller disconnects, it kind of stays disconnected. So uh, we've got left and right movement on the wheel, which I like. Accelerator makes me go backwards. Brake makes me go forwards. That's just because it's implemented in the wrong way in the game. Why on earth they haven't picked up on that and fixed it, I do not know. That was a pretty funky car, wasn't it? That was pretty funky. Oh, man, alive. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a bigger uh, dead zone on my vertical axes for... Uh, for the air tracker so it's the white I mean it's already pretty big anyway we we'll go 50% just so it stops doing that quite so much right guys so we're in game I've got the Xbox 360 controller working now um, I've started the mission oh, gee whiz I, they need to spend time on the controls man I, if you look at the whoa, steady on. If you look at the amount of time that I've spent in game, the vast majority, the vast majority of it has been uh, trying to get controllers to work properly, and they still don't. Um, so yeah, but okay, right. Let's let's just right. Let's make a, a rule now, okay? The controls and the control configuration is an absolute joke. It is terrible. It's the worst I think I've ever seen in any game. 
let's move on and enjoy how beautiful this game is. Look at the look at the town and the city here. Now I know these windows you can't like see through them or whatever, but they do look pretty darned spectacular. I'm gonna have to change this. It's doing my head in. So uh, it looks like I've lost the Ed Tracker now. So the Ed Tracker is no longer working uh, as it did. We'll see if it works in car and I'll f fix it if it doesn't. Where the hell are the settings? There they are. Uh, controls, movement. Rather than movement being on an axis, which it should be, uh, it's on a button. So uh, there's another issue. The Like I said before, the accelerator is the brake and the brake is the accelerator. So trying to get this to work the way you want it to is at best hard work. And it's I've got it set up on my head on the air tracker very, in a very sensitive way because otherwise when you're driving it doesn't work well as a head tracker. Right, here we are. We are at the machine. Struggling like hell. So this is why head tracking needs to be fixed in this game. How do I get in the flipping truck? Ah, oh, just press the Z and get in the next vehicle. It's it's way too complicated, this is. Right, okay, so you can see that uh, I've got sort of head tracking, sort of, uh, by doing this. If I change camera, having to use the keyboard to do that. You can see I kind of head, have head tracking, but what you can't see is that it's reversed. So left is right and right is left. And that is how ballsed up this game is. It's an absolute shambles of a game, it really is. It's not a shambles of a game, it's a shambles of a control configuration thing. Uh, invert x-axis, but if I do that then my steering wheel will also be reversed and all sorts of weird craziness goes on. It really is bad. And I, the, pro the problem is, right, based on the fact that I've gone back months and months and months and months and months and looked at lots of communication and conversation with the devs and from the devs, they play with a keyboard and mouse and they think because they do everybody should and it's that whole attitude that you know they don't care about wheels and head tracking and so on and so forth so they're not going to put any effort into doing it it's not high up on their priority list well guess what you're not going to buy your own game we're going to buy your game so you need to fix the controls to the way we want it to be otherwise nobody's going to want to play technically that's not true on this game because it's so good but I mean, they're walking a very fine line there, I'd say. Right. Now we've got left and right. And if I get out the truck, you'll notice that left and right is reversed. So these are the problems we face. <sighs> Let's try and move on. Start the engine. Oh, the engine was already started. Pretty sure I didn't want it auto started, but anyway. Right, you can see that everything, oh my god, the up and down is reversed as well. Jeepers creepers. The reason why that's on, incidentally, guys, is because when I'm outside of the vehicle, everything is reversed again. Right, so, unlike games like Farming Simulator, everything in here is animated. Look at the gear, st the gear shifter as I'm going through the gears. Now... It's not stalling or stuttering, even though, oh, well that seems to have broken now, so now I can't change the gears at all. But everything in here is animated, all the dials, uh, the fuel levels, the temperature gauge, I can't lean forward because it, it doesn't have head tracking, but everything is animated in here. All the buttons, all the switches, I don't know why the gear stick no longer works. It did work, it doesn't now. This is, this is why I say most of the time I spend in this game is trying to get it to work. This really is the biggest problem. Do, 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 do. I've got a handbrake. Oh, handbrake, you know, this. It's, it's real as well to the point where if you haven't put the handbrake on, you're on a hill. Your tractor's off and it's going down the hill and hopefully there'll be damage and all sorts of things. Cruise control. Oh, there's a cruise control button. There is a cruise control button. I was wrong. There is a cruise control button. Could have sworn there wasn't. Anyway. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. So it seems no. Ah. Confusing, very confusing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what gear I'm in either, by the way. Right, handbrake off, and let's. That's me pressing the brake, and brake is the accelerator. So handbrake off. Find a gear, any gear, to be honest with you. Is that a gear? It is, but the handbrake was on. Right, there's the handbrake. There's the handbrake there. Do you see the handbrake? Just above the steering wheel, going up and down. Everything in this game is animated. Uh, it's so good in, in that sense. It's what it's what I've been hoping for from uh, Farm Sim for years, and they just refuse to deliver or pay any attention to anything that anybody says. Anyway, right, we're actually finally moving now, which is good. Um, I'm not going to mention the camera inside cab because that's an absolute mess as well. Definitely, I don't know why they're leaving this till the last thing. When you open a game up in early access, you want people to be able to play the game to its fullest capacity and just appreciate the fact that it's not fully functioning. But what we've actually got here is a game that you can't play to its fullest degree because the controls and the cameras are not correctly set up. So it's a real issue. It really is a big issue. Um, and I, I wouldn't recommend anybody buy this game until that's fixed, unless you're somebody... What are you doing, buddy? Unless you're somebody who enjoys playing with the controller and or keyboard and mouse. Because if that's the case, you're okay. But if you want to start hooking up a steering wheel and control decks and head tracking and, and get like a really realistic feeling, then you're going to be spending a lot of time setting this game up and not a lot of time playing. So it's all it's all very negative at the moment, which is, I, I'm so sorry, but that's the reality of my experience. Um, and you'll, if you watch Sim UK a lot, you'll know that I don't, I don't mix my words. I'm very genuine, I'm very honest. Uh, I try and be fair, I try and be understanding, but uh, it's important that I express to you how this game makes me feel and why. Because if you buy this game based on a review that I've made and I say, oh my god, it's so amazing, look how authentic that water looks, it's just brilliant over there. But I don't mention that you will spend two hours trying to set your wheel up, uh, and even when you do have it set up, the brake and the accelerator will be the wrong way around and so on and so forth. There are issues and you need to be aware of them. But, with that being said, when you do get it set up, look how fantastic this looks. Look how sensational. Everything looks so realistic to me. Nearly crashed. Right, so it looks like we're picking up this thing here. Oh, that's me pressing the brake, trying to, uh, trying to stop, and actually that's the accelerator. Right, now I've got to find reverse gear, which is going to be interesting. No, that's not it. There it is. God knows, God knows how I'm supposed to know that that's reverse gear, but anyway. One day, one day it will tell you, I'm sure. Right, first gear please. Any gear please, thank you. So at the moment, head tracking is only available with an head tracker. Uh, it will change. Whoa! That is not the brake. That's the accelerator. I'm really struggling to remember that. Right. 
right. So now if I press, uh, which button did I bind this to? Seriously? You're not going to bind. I set this up the other day. I don't understand why nothing is bound anymore. Why have you unbound everything? There's also no option to uh, bind a button for the menu, or not that I've discovered yet anyway. So I have to pick up my keyboard, and because I've got this head tracking system on, if I turn my head to get the keyboard, everything starts spinning. So yeah, I am struggling with the controls, and it is, no word of a lie, driving me absolutely flipping potty. Right, um, let's attach, detach, there we go. So we'll pick that one, seems to be a good idea. Raise lower, I'm going to change to that one. Enable, disable. I'm going to change to that one. Extrude and collapse. I'm going to change to that one. Rotate. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? Give me an extra button there. All right. Change that. Scrap that idea. We're going to go attach, detach. Extrude, collapse. Raise lower. Enable and rotate and that one can be unload perfect right so we've got something there that I think we can actually use now so let's save that and continue so I think I'm close enough Ta -da! now hopefully um, and I think I'm pretty sure um, it has been confirmed that it's going to be realistic to the point where you have to get out you can choose to have the option where you get out of the tractor and do all this kind of stuff manually and I'll be quite honest with you I cannot wait for that now for some reason my head tracker no longer turns my head so that has once again broken <sighs> honestly this game this game this game this game, the best game in the world, but you can't play it because of the controls. Right, what's happened here then? Horizontal look. Why Why have you changed? Stop changing everything. Stupid game. Right. Um, so, we need to change gear. Ah, so when I've got something on the back, I can tell whether or not I've got the reverse lights on because it will show me. So that should be first gear now, and it is. Now, if you can see, can you hear me going up the gears? But sometimes the gear shifter doesn't change. So there is that little bit of quirkiness about the game still. Right, we're in a tractor, we can go across the grass. That's not an issue for us. Uh, I do have my indicators on. Again, if you watch, you'll see that the indicators in the game move. And I'm sorry if my head movements are a bit erratic. It's not head tracking. That was a cool gear change, did you see that? So it is good when you can, when you can get it working the way you want it to or working period, you can see how amazing this game is going to be. I mean, it's all here, I just can't control it properly, or I can't set the controls up properly. Once I've got it in a semi-working state, it's brilliant. Bearing in mind that at the moment, I don't really have head tracking, I have this complicated head tracker combined, basically head tracker is acting like a thumbstick on an Xbox 360 controller, uh, so that's why it is the way it is and also I'm having to use my the brake on my G29 as the accelerator and the accelerator on my G29 is my brake so it's not perfect it really is not perfect but the game itself outside of the controls is sensational and I think I just lost my camera I 
think we just lost the camera for the for the wheel cam. Ah oh, man, it's the world is trying me today. It's pushing pushing my buttons and seeing how I cope. This looks sensational. I'm loath to go to the outside camera, which I did. I did set that up. <sighs> Controls. Change camera. Where's the camera? Camera. Camera's down the bottom. Camera's down the bottom. Let's use interface. Forward rotation center. What does that mean? Forward rotation center. It means go back to the center. Yeah, so that's look left, that's look right. Um, reset camera. Try that. Field of view forward, toggle camera, toggle camera. There we go. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do that with... No! We're going to do that with this one. Now I just have to go and reconfigure my air tracker again. Obviously when track IR is implemented you won't have to do all that crap. Oh no! I pressed the reset camera button and unfortunately the reset camera button in this game is in the wrong place. It's far too far zoomed in. Right, so we've got. I'm going to have to increase my. Uh, I'm going to have to increase my dead zone. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's whoa, 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 whoa. Settings, controls, a tracker. Oh, okay. I hadn't put that one up for some reason. Right, let's try that, and then maybe that's a bit better because I, now I can move my head without the camera moving immediately. Right, so that's good. Let's try going in. Perfect. Now, if I hit the reset camera button, you'll see what happens. Boom! I do not want to be there. But if I go back outside and go back in again, you can see that it's back where it should be so I mean there are a lot of issues around the camera there's a lot of issues around the controls but if you can just somehow filter out me constantly moaning about these things and just look and see how fantastic the game is then I think you can understand why I am so excited for this game and I really am Going straight on here, looks like it. So also the maps are huge. And not only are they huge, they are very authentic. I don't really want to do like for like comparisons of Farming Simulator 17 because I don't like Farming Simulator 17. I think they've insulted us with that game and they've most more than anything they've insulted the uh, the modders boom okay now what do you want us to do detach the vertimix okay so that should be this button let's just spin around and look perfect congratulations mission complete welcome to albergertel albergertel i think that's how you say it okay Send mission data to server. Yeah, maybe. New mission available. It smells, but we need it. That sounds lovely. So, I'm going to call that a day there for my first episode, guys. Hopefully, you can see past all of the complaints and understand why I am constantly highlighting how bad the control system is for this game. Because if you're going to invest £30 in this for early access, yes, 100% the... The mechanics of the game and the level of realism is absolutely sublime. It's right where it needs to be. But right now, as in today, the control configuration and setup is an absolute disaster. Unless you've got hours and hours and hours to tweak and hone it and then put up with all the issues that you're still going to have at the end of that, then, then don't buy this game just yet. Wait until 
uh, YouTubers like myself and others. Although I've watched lots of YouTube videos on this and nobody's really commented on how bad the control system is. So maybe just watch my channel because I seem to be the only person who this is irritating the living daylights out of. Just come and watch my channel and I'll tell you when the controls are working properly because this is a big issue. It really is a huge issue. But what a fantastic game. I'm really excited for this one. So join me in the next episode where I've now got my configuration set up so we shouldn't have so many issues and it could be more about farming and the game and the enjoyment that's available. So thank you for watching today. Please take care of yourselves. Till next time, goodbye. Yeah.